to comb or to brush? That's a super duper good question. So I'm super glad somebody asked. So yeah, when should you be using these? Well, let me break this down for you. Whether you own a human hair wig or a synthetic wig, you should really have a good wide tooth comb handy. The one I use is by John Renault. We sell these in the store. I own multiples of these and I basically put them all over my house and in my purse and in my car. These are great for synthetic wigs and they're really great for human hair wigs for detangling. Okay, so you shouldn't detangle with a brush. You should detangle with the comb and a wide tooth comb is really your best tool for that. In terms of synthetic wigs, your best tool is still a wide tooth comb in basically all applications because it's going to be less likely to damage and snag the hair. A, a comb with finer teeth than this is really going to um, pull on the hair, which is kind of something you want to avoid because when you pull on synthetic hair, whether it's heat friendly or regular, and um, when you pull on it, that's my cat chubs, um, <laughs> it, it will spring back kind of like when you're trying to curl a balloon ribbon. and that can lead to the fiber being all kinds of distorted and not looking right. So comb for synthetics or for detangling human hair. Round fours head brush. When do you use this? Well, you never, ever, 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 ever use this on a synthetic wig. I can tell you that. This should never, ever be used on a synthetic wig for any reason, okay? You will destroy your synthetic wig. You will frizz it out if you, if you use one of these. This is really for human hair, and this is specifically for human hair that you're trying to uh, blow dry. This is really what you should be using in combination with a good hot blow dryer with a, um, a condenser tip. You should be using these in tandem with each other, you know, to blow out your wig. So this is really what the boar's head brush is for, okay? Human hair. And if you have a John Renault human hair wig specifically, you should definitely pick one of these up. You're going to need it to blow your hair out. And all John Renault human hair wigs need to be blown dry after you wash them. They even recommend that on their own website because you can kind of, you know, frizz out the hair um, because of the kind of blend they use if you don't blow dry it. So what about this paddle brush? When do you use a paddle brush? Well, paddle brushes are basically like the human hair equivalent of one of these wide tooth combs. You use this for all of your human hair needs. You can even use this on your bio hair. It's very gentle. It's made to not accumulate static. It's got these little nubby balls on the on the ends. This is just a great paddle brush in general. So it's really good for your hair, your bio hair, and it's really good for your human hair. And this is what you should use to basically smooth out the hair, to make it look nice and uniform, to relax curls after you curl set it or whatever. This is really an all-purpose brush. And even, you know, their human hair starter kit comes with one of these. It's a great brush for human hair. So brushes equal human hair, as you probably picked this up. Comb, usually for synthetics or for detangling your human hair wigs. So hopefully that will help you get a little bit more life out of your hair. You know, don't cross the stream so much with these and synthetics. Like I said, you'll kind of destroy your wigs that way. So I'm Heather. I'm from sisterwigs.com. That's C-Y-S-T-E-R-W-I-G-S.com. Bringing you all kinds of tips and tricks and wig reviews and all kinds of goodies. So be sure to check out my YouTube channel. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And check out my wig store when you get a chance. Until next time, have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.